Hi and welcome to the first tutorial in the Web Plus X5 series. In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can make a web page using this software. We're going to look at things like inserting text and images um, and we're also going to look at how we can insert a uh, photo gallery to make your web page more interesting. I'm going to be using a blank template so I'm going to be clicking on start new site. If you want to use a template you can use the, use the design template option down here. Okay, here is the um, layout of my web page. I can resize my web page by clicking and dragging these corner pieces over here. And if you look down in this little area, this information bar, it tells you how wide the web page is and how long it is. The first thing I'm going to do is add a title, and I'm going to use the artistic text tool for this. The website's about myself. So I'm going to type in my name. I can then resize this quite easily just by clicking and dragging from the corners. I can add the bold if I wanted to, um, and I'm going to use, I'm going to put it like that. I might make it a little bit smaller. Oops, too small. Okay, as you can see, it's very easy to resize. Okay, I also want to include uh, like a, almost like a bit of colour here. So I'm going to add a rectangle tool, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle around that area. Now it doesn't matter that I've gone into the grey areas because anything that's in the grey area won't get displayed when I actually export my web page. So it's kind of like a little pace where you can, if, you, if you've used a particular colour, it's always useful to have like a little colour swatch there so you create a little rectangle with the colour that you like and then you can um, use that colour again later on quite easily. So at the moment I've got this rectangle that's above my text, I need to rearrange that so I'm going to right click on the um, rectangle go to uh, arrange and then click to send back. I'm going to change the color of this by clicking on black and then I'm going to just change the tint slightly um, by using this slider. Um, now I want it to be about, I want it to be quite dark, about 15%. You can also just type it in if you want. I want the text to be white, so I'm going to highlight the text, go to the text and click on white. I want to make this kind of look not I want, I want it to look like the, the black rectangle is sticking out a little bit. So I'm going to right click on the text. Um, oops. There we go. Go to filter effects and I'm going to add an inner shadow. And as you can see, um, the text box is kind of like sunken a little bit. Um, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more blur. Oh, too much. Um, and you can change the opacity, that's how how clear it is. Uh, if I go from one extreme to the other, you'll see the difference. So there's that version, 100%, and there's nothing. So it was about right on 40. Um, I'll, I'll go for happy medium. When you've done that, I'm just gonna click on okay. Okay, so there's my title banner. I'm then gonna go and add a picture. Now in order to add a picture, you use this tool over here and you go to import picture. Now I've got my files over here, so I'm just going to click on the file that I want, click on it and click on open. Then what you need to do is just drag and drop, um, or rather drag and resize, the size of the picture uh, that you want. So I'm going to have it fairly big, about that size. I can do things like rotate it if I wanted to, um, you know, it's quite cool. You can also add things like um, filter, uh, filter effects but also shadows. If you wanted to, you'd have to just resize it, uh, use these little tools over here to kind of change like the, the kind of properties of the shadow box. So there's that bit. I'm then gonna add a text frame layout. And I'm gonna draw out my text box here, and I'm gonna add my text. So uh, this site is about me. Um, I am a teacher who loves anything to do with ICT, can you tell? Okay, I'm going to resize that, and there we go. I'm now going to add a little photo gallery. Now in order to do that, it's the same kind of area, but you just click on the downward arrow and go to insert photo gallery. You then get presented with different options uh, for this. I'm going to take a look at the um, JavaScript gallery. You can use either one of those. They're all different kind of templates. Um, I'm then going to add my files. So I'm going to add all the files 
and click on open. I don't really want to include that file that I've used before so I won't tick that and I'll click next. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that, I, meant to, I don't want it, sorry. So I click on it and click on delete and then it goes. Um, I then click on OK and next. I can then choose my styles over here and it gives you a little preview of what they may look like. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with the first one because I quite like that style. I'm then going to click on finish and I'm going to just drag it into place. And there we go. What I'm going to do is I want it to look as if it's on a, a white background as well so I'm going to add another rectangle tool, draw on top of it roughly the same size of it but slightly bigger, right click, oops, um, you can't really see if I, no, okay there we go, right click, arrange and send back one because I want it to just be behind the, um, that photo gallery. Um, I want it to kind of look like a Polaroid that's kind of sticking up but again I'm going to use the shadow tool and then going to just make the shadow stick out a little bit change the property slightly so it suits what I want it to look like and there we go so there's my first page now I can preview this page by going to file preview site and preview in Internet Explorer and here it is you might need to allow block content when you preview it but this is my site so far I've got my title at the top I've got my picture my text and my little photo gallery so when I click on these things um, you know it appears as I want it to appear. When you're happy that everything's working you can save this obviously but you can go to file, publish site, publish to disk folder, say where you want it to go, say what pages you want to publish and click on OK. Click yes to preview, you know, to export it all and click close when you're done. You can then check it out in your file. So this was my um, folder structure it's created two folders with the pictures for me. These are the things that I would copy out uh, along with the index. Click on index and I can see this is my finished version. It's all working and that's how I made my first page.